everybody. My name is Ari, and I'm a designer here at UVU. I basically make technology better and easier to use. This is our design lab, where we get together with other designers and talk about our ideas. And my name is Haley, and ever since I was a little kid, I loved reading those really old mystery books that teach you how to problem solve. I am so glad you brought up problem solving, because as a designer, that's our whole job. We go out into the world, find problems, and then come up with a creative solution for it. Haggis, what are you doing here? Ordering food for all of us. What are you two doing? I think they said they're ordering food. We should put on captions. Definitely. I am so hungry. Well, anyways, we were just telling these cool cats about how our job is all about problem solving. Just like how you just problem solved that you were hungry and ordered food for delivery. First of all, don't call them cool cats. That's insulting. Second, food delivery is not problem solving. It's a way yeah, of life. It's also a huge waste of money. But <laughs> order me some haggis, would ya? <laughs> Dare I'm you. kidding. <laughs> but for real, could you get me some french fries? <laughs> All right, you two, let's settle down. In college, you can pick classes based off your interests and essentially choose your own schedule. I like the sound of that. I'm not getting up before noon. And you wouldn't be alone in that either. I mean, most popular classes in university don't even start until 11. Which, speaking of classes, I'm currently in a philosophy course. And Haggis, you're from Scotland, right? Have you ever heard of philosophy? Hmm, I've heard of it, but... Well, philosophy is all about the study of big questions in life, like what is real? How do we know what we know? Who are we? It's kind of like asking really important questions and trying to find the answers to them. Sorry, but I'm pretty sure that's exactly Dr. Phil's job description. <laughs> well, philosophers use imagination, reason, and sometimes even science to try to find the answers to these questions. It's kind of like trying to solve a mystery, but instead of solving a crime, we're trying to understand the world around us and our place in it. Whoa, that's crazy because that's almost the exact job description of a product designer. I mean, in our field, we ask a lot of why questions and sometimes even use scientific methods to test out our ideas. I mean, we need to understand people to design well for them. And that's where philosophy meets design. <laughs> and you think I'm dramatic. Gosh, all this talk about important people in history and them changing the world has got me so excited. Mm -hmm. Can I show you guys something cool? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. Run, we lads, run! Okay, so this beautiful stained glass window is a timeline of history starting from the beginning all the way to the future. This exhibit is at UVU, which you are more than welcome to go and view at any time that you'd like. So philosophy started a long time ago, but there was a specific time period we'd like to highlight where some people grouped together in Scotland and their ideas changed the world. 
Right around the same time was the American Revolution, and our founding fathers were greatly influenced by these radicals and their ideas in order to establish our government. This exhibit is a must see. So if you ever have some free time and are around Utah Valley University, definitely go check it out. You can learn so much from each panel of history. What? Wait, the Scottish Enlightenment? Are you talking about the summertime in Scotland when the sun is out till close to midnight? Well, that is true. But that's not the kind of light that I'm talking about. The Scottish Enlightenment was a period of time where people emphasized logic and reason to make progress in society. Think about a flashlight, when it shines on something that you couldn't see before. Ah, gotcha. Did you know that the Scottish flag actually has a unicorn on it? <laughs> Why wouldn't that be? I'd definitely give off my character vibes. <laughs> well, not Haggis, but one of his ancestors. Harry, isn't there a whole story about the unicorn that all the Scottish people know and mm -hmm. love? Yes, I would love to tell you all about my history, and I'd love to show you my beautiful home. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just had the best idea. I mean, we've been talking about Scotland and the Scottish Enlightenment, but what if we went to Scotland? That way we could bring you all along with us and show you. I love where this is going. We could even start a travel club. Discover Scotland! Okay, I'm done on two conditions. One, I fly first class. Two, we stop by to visit Lewis Capaldi before we go. Yeah, I'm done on two conditions. I fly first class. We stop by to visit Lewis Capaldi before we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a lower budget excursion, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, yeah. Hey, the food's here. Yeah. Perfect, let's go. Yeah. We are so excited to bring you all on our adventure. We're going to learn to become better designers, and maybe some of you will be inspired to look at something in a different way or build something brand new. Haggis, what are you doing? Just adding the essentials to my Amazon cart. Neck pillow, sleeping mask, my skincare routine. This stunning glow doesn't just happen on its own. <laughs> Well, I am so excited to do this. It's gonna be so much fun. Mm -hmm. So for this trip, we're gonna bring our awesome film crew, Lizzie, Shelby, Jordan, Natalie, and Rosa. I think we need to bring our design professor as well. He can get us in with the University of Edinburgh. He knows yes, people. <laughs> we need Dan. Okay, so we're gonna fly from here in Salt Lake to the UK. Hold the phone. I don't think these people all know what you mean when you say UK. Well, let's show them a map. Yeah. Okay, the UK or the United Kingdom is made up of different countries such as Scotland and England, also Wales and Northern Ireland. They all share a government. That way they can share resources like money, schools, hospitals, and the military. I can picture it in my mind. A few hundred years ago, this little specific area of the UK called Scotland was struggling for its own place in the world. Scotland bred a particular type of people and environment. Ideas that came out of this land during the Scottish Enlightenment helped America to break away from England and establish a country ruled by people, rather than by royalty. That's right. On July 4th, 1776, the United States of America issued the Declaration of Independence to become its own country. But. Let's talk more about that later. For our trip, we will fly to England first and stay in London for a few days. So the first episode will premiere Friday, May 12th. We will take you on a tour of some popular sites, including the tomb of John Locke. John Locke was a big influence on the Scottish philosopher, Francis Hutchinson, who is known as the father of the Scottish Enlightenment. The second episode will be premiering on Wednesday, May 17th. We will be taking a train through the city of Glasgow and then to Edinburgh. We will be showing you the beautiful countryside while telling fascinating stories about more of these intelligent people who helped shape our country and the world into what it is today. It's gonna be so great. So the next time you see us, we will be in the United Kingdom. See you later. See ya.